A lot of what I understand today, I got from the Bible. And I found clarification and confirmation in the Quran. I found out there really is no contradiction in the Bible. So what I do is try to encourage them to read in the Quran. If I'm going to debate with them and I finally convince them the Bible, in fact, I continued my studies of the Bible in the Greek and in the Hebrew for two and a half more years after I was a Muslim. Some are so much like the Sunnah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you'd be surprised. Do you think that... Hello guys, yeah, welcome back. Thank you so much for taking off you guys at Doing really great. Assalamu alaikum. My question is for Mr. Yusuf. I have a Christian friend and we always have discussions on uh, Islam and Christianity and whenever we have a discussion on the Bible she always tells me that if you say the Bible has been changed by people and is not the exact true word then how come I get so much of peace when I read the Bible? She says that when she reads it she feels closer to God. How do I counter this question? Bismillah, mm. alhamdulillah, I don't know if I'm in the right place to tell you this or not. We got a lot of fans here that like the idea of having debates with people. We got a lot of Ahmadidat fans and we love him very much. And Dr. Zecher Knight's fans are here. I'm in the heart of that. So uh, what I say may not go over real well, but I have to tell you something. I'm not a big fan of debating with the people over the Bible. Uh -huh. You can debate with them about a lot of things. What do you believe about God? That's, I'm right here. Come on, let's debate all day long. But when you start to criticize the Bible, you got a problem. you got a real big problem. Because the very beginning of this book right here, when it tells you, there's no doubt in this book, it's a source of hidayah for those that have taqwa for Allah. And then it continues to tell you, but it's only going to be for those that have the taqwa for Allah. Then they have to believe in the ghaid, the unseen. They have to establish regular worship. They have to pay their zakah. Then they have to believe that this is coming down to Muhammad and Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And they have to believe in the book that came before. Then at the end of the same surah, it's telling you that these people, they say, those that are on the right belief, we believe in Allah. Wa malayakatihi wa katubihi wa rasuli. And that Kutubahi means his books or book. And you have, to, you have to understand that the Bible really was from Allah. So if I criticize even what, maybe one or two words are still there from Allah, I would be criticizing Allah's word. It's not a good idea. I don't see that as being a good challenge to attack it because a lot of what I understand today, I got from the Bible. And I found clarification and confirmation in the Quran. In fact, I continued my studies of the Bible in the Greek and in the Hebrew for two and a half more years after I was a Muslim. I didn't stop until I completed my degree in it because I, I just had something inside of me knowing that I, there's something here. And it finally came to me and then I was able to put the Bible down and relax. I found out there really is no contradiction in the Bible except where it contradicts itself. Wow. I'm Duh. surprised. Nice. And when I realized that, I said, then the only way I'm going to understand the Bible is to go to the book without the contradiction. And it says in here about the unbelievers, haven't they considered if it was from other than a law, they'll find within it many contradictions. Go ahead, find one. Go ahead. There's a clear contradiction here. I want you to listen real close to this contradiction. God is not a man. God is not the son of man. You hear that? Now that sounds like I'm reading out of Surah Ikhlas, doesn't it? Huh? Lam yalid It sounds like that, doesn't it? God is not a man. And God is not the son of man. That's in the Bible. That's in Numbers chapter 23 verse 19. I know you want to write that down for your Christian friend. <laughs> Go and show them it's in the Old Testament. Numbers, chapter 23, verse 19. Then take them up to the New Testament in Luke, chapter... What? 3. Chapter 3, last verse, 38. Look at it. The last verse said, Enos is the son of Seth. And Seth, which was a brother to Cain and Abel, Seth is the son of Adam, and Adam is the son of God. Who? 
Adam is the son of God. Now their argument will be, yeah, but that has a little s. And when we talk about Jesus, we use a big s. I got news for you. In the Semitic languages, which includes Arabic, Aramaic, Hebrew, there are no capital letters. There's no upper lowercase letters. So that's a moot point. It doesn't work. But what I suggest you to do is don't, don't try to upset her. Uh, let me explain why the overall picture of this. If I'm going to debate with them and I finally convince them the Bible is not from God, if I did, which, well, I already give you the argument the other side, but if I said, okay, now what do you think? She said, I'll never pick it up again. I will never go to the Bible to find any peace again. I'm never going to do it. I'm totally away from it. Do you think that makes her a Muslim? That's not called a Shahada, is it? No. Is it? Yeah. It sounded to me like she left something, but you didn't give her anything. So what I do is try to encourage them to read in the Quran. What do you think it is that she likes to read? I'll tell you what it probably is. She's probably reading Psalms. She could be reading out of Jeremiah. She could be reading Ecclesiastes. All of these have very good parables and teachings in there. Some are so much like the Sunnah of Muhammad, Sallallahu you'd be surprised. Yes. The one in there about how do you uh, worry about the speck in somebody else's eye when you have a, a log in your own eye is from the Sunnah as well as from the Bible. The one about the camel going through the door thing, again the same thing. So a lot of the things, if you're going to criticize the Bible, you're criticizing the Quran and the Sunnah both. So I really encourage you to find what's good about what she says and encourage her to consider what Islam says the same thing. The Bible says God is one. It says it real clear. So why do I want to argue with her about that? That wouldn't make sense. Uh, the example, chapter 12, verse 29 in Mark, they asked Jesus about, oh, good master, what is the, what's the greatest commandment? And he said, according to what survives of the Bible today, he tells them, no, O Israel. Because remember, according to him, he only came to the lost sheep of the tribe of Israel. No, O Israel, the Lord thy God is one Lord. And you have to worship him with all your heart and all your love and, and all your uh, might. So if this is a teaching that they have, what do I have that's different than that? Do I want to attack them on exactly... Uh, I convince them, put all that out of your mind and then come over to me and I'm going to reteach you the same thing again. That doesn't make any sense. And you're like cutting somebody off and sinking their ship and not giving them anywhere to go. Hey, Sheikh John. Wonderful. So I was so perplexed to hear... Yusuf Etsy's point of view and whew, that keeps him to me as a surprise like this lady asks this question that if the Bible is not the word of God and it has contradiction why is it that whenever she reads the Bible she always have peace in her heart if the Bible is not from God this Christian was discussing with a Muslim friend because Muslim friend was telling her that oh the Bible is not real this 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 trying to prove to her that the Quran is the way Islam is the way and she now said if truly, truly, if this is what you mean, then why is that anytime I read the Bible, I find peace. It gives me peace of mind. So, Yusuf Etis gave a powerful, you know, answer that I didn't expect. It was not expected at all. He said, you are not supposed to. But, what, but before I go to that, he made one point. I was like, what? He said, the Bible is from Allah. How? I just don't get it. Because in Christianity, they don't call their God Allah. They call God God or people call him Almighty God. So if you now say the Bible is from Allah, and now you're not saying that the Bible was contradicted, it's not the word of God. So if the Bible was not, it's not the word of God and it's contradicted, it, that's contradiction, then how come he's not proving that the Bible is from Allah? It's like he's contradicting himself to like, I don't know, understand. It's not making sense to me. Because the Bible that most Muslims believe that is not truly the word of God, and he is now saying that it's from Allah, that is to say, the Bible is real, is the word of God. So that's what I wanted to prove on that. So I love the fact that he explained it to this lady that, see, you, all you need to do is just tell the that your, you know, Christian friend to read the Quran. You are not supposed to stop her or tell her that the Bible is not real. If you want her to have a change of heart and you want her to convert to another religion, all what you have to do is for her to read the Quran. Then she might have an encounter. Or from there, you know, she might 
she might be touched and the Quran might make more meaning to her than the Bible. So you cannot just tell somebody that, oh, don't read the Bible, this, 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 no. So it was not like the Bible itself, you know, can actually give you peace of mind because there are a lot of chapters in the Bible that when you read it, you find that peace. For instance, Psalm. If you read Psalm, Psalm is like a form of prayer request to God, in acknowledgement to God. There are some, you know, chapters of the, of the Bible, passages of the Bible that when you read it, it gives you this peace of mind. So that is to say that the Bible is real. Even though, yes, there are some parts that it contradicts itself, but that doesn't mean it's not the word of God. So I was really shocked that he even, you know, approved it he claimed it that the Bible is the word of God. Whereas I've listened to so many Muslim scholars telling us that the Bible is not the word of God because of the contradiction. So guys, let me know your view on this matter. What do you have to say? Let's keep it going. Let's continue the discussion in the comment box. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.